Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Tuesday the 14th of April 2015 and I'm down at the observatory where we've got the 14 inch Mead LX200 and uh, it's looking at Jupiter at the moment and what I want to do is show you what I believe is causing uh, Crow 777's uh, donut ships that he's been talking about. I'm going to have a look at the end of the telescope and as you can see there's a big disc at the end of the telescope this bit here which is where the secondary mirror sits okay so we've got a big mirror on the on the end of the uh, sorry a, a big window on the end of the telescope down the other end is, is a mirror and in the center of this window here we've got this this uh, circle this disc which on the other side of that disc has a secondary mirror which bounces a light that is, is bounced off the primary mirror down the other end, bounces a light off this mirror and sends it back down the other end, where if we come down to the other end of this big bad boy, the eyepiece is located. So that secondary mirror actually bounces a light um, out the end of the telescope and through this uh, prism here, and then it, the light comes back up through the eyepiece here. So I'm going to show you through the telescope looking at Jupiter what happens when I defocus the telescope. Okay, so I've got the uh, Canon 60DA DSLR camera connected to the telescope now. And uh, as I come around you can see that we're looking at Jupiter on the screen. And we can see uh, three of its four main moons on the screen. I'm going to turn the recording on on the on the camera we're recording now and what I'm going to do is defocus the telescope as we're looking at Jupiter and you're going to see what happens to Jupiter on the screen so I'm defocusing Jupiter and uh, I'm recording through the, the DSLR camera at the same time so I can play that back as well and what do we see? We see a big donut and the other thing that you'll see particularly on the DSLR video footage is the way that we can see the the air uh, moving across the front of the telescope which is atmospheric refraction speaking of atmospheric refraction so the more I defocus the camera the larger this donut gets and uh, this is why Crow is seeing what he calls donut ships because his telescope is not collimated properly the uh, it's not ap optically uh, aligned correctly and um, this is why he's seeing what he calls donut ships. I'm just losing my focus on the video camera. Let me just set that manually. There we go. So there is Crow's donut ships. There's a great big donut for you Crow. And uh, let me bring the focus back in and we'll bring Jupiter back into view. Now, this footage of my camera is a bit blurry because we're filming at night and uh, it's a bit hard to get the focus holding this two-handed while I'm doing everything. And the autofocus doesn't want to quite hold, but yeah, it's bringing it back. And here comes Jupiter and its moons, and there we have it, Jupiter and its moons. So there we have it. Um, Donut ships. Donut ships and bats on Crow's videos. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.